So hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Poco F3, also known as the Redmi K40. And today we are talking about a wonderful ROM called Derpfest. Recently we did a review for this particular ROM, the Poco X3 Pro, and it has surprised me with its amazing performance and smoothness on the Mi 11X as well. So before we get into the review, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So let's see what we have here. We have Derpfest 12 Xeon official Android 12 updated on the 11th of Feb 2022. So in the last uh, two to three weeks, this has not been updated, but I still gave it a try and I was pleasantly surprised. Now you do see that there is a change log over here. And as you can see, the change log is pretty comprehensive and pretty long, so I would not be going through it. But in the notes section, it does say that GApps is included, safety net passes by default, SE Linux is enforcing, you can update to newest version via OTA, and that's everything that is mentioned. Now, one thing that I have been consistently saying about custom ROMs as far as the Mi 11X is concerned is that they are extremely high quality, they are extremely smooth on this particular device, and that is always a good experience. Even if you look at Dubfest Xeon on this particular device, it just flies butter smooth, and it's definitely a better experience from the Snapdragon 860 powered Poco X3 Pro, of course, because this is a more powerful chip and this is a better display in terms of, you know, clarity and it is an AMOLED versus LCD but Derpfest on this particular ROM feels really really smooth even if you look at the app icon animations they are so subtle almost perfect is what I would say if you go to the Google feed over here as you can see apart from loading times it's butter smooth it works absolutely fine no problem whatsoever even if you go to the home screen while you're scrolling it's very very cohesive now, if you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that you have a ton of quick tiles over here because Dubfest not only has a lot of, uh, you know, smoothness, it also has a lot of customization options. So if you go to the edit menu over here, you will see that you have different styles of Wi-Fi icons that I have enabled and uh, all sorts of things. You do have always on display as well, reading mode, reboot, heads up, dub space. So all these shortcuts are present and they work absolutely fine. You do have a power menu over here, which allows you to go ahead and restart directly or power off and then you have the setting shortcut and stuff like that now over here at the top if you see you do have wi-fi calling icon so wi-fi calling is working absolutely fine and everything else is organized in a very very neat way you do have these indicators of you know the location or the camera or the mic being used by a certain application which is always a good thing now if you press and hold over here you go to home settings which gives you the derp launcher and uh, it does give you access to a lot of customization for example hide the pixel bar hide pixel like search bar from the home screen as you can see that is now gone so let's go to the home settings once again let's go ahead and disable this and it is now back on so the launcher also comes with a ton of customization and you can go ahead and make a lot of changes as you can see over here you do have the option to enable or disable double tap to gestures and let's see here let's go ahead and unlock this now if you further move to widgets you do have all your standard android 12 widgets which are present and they work absolutely fine no problem whatsoever wallpaper in style well you do have themed icons you can go ahead and change the wallpaper to a wallpaper of your choice let's use the same wallpaper that i used in uh, the poco x3 pro video and as you can see themed icons are present and they work absolutely fine now, moving on, as far as the apps on this particular ROM are concerned, it doesn't come with any bloatware at all. It is absolutely minimalistic. The camera application supplied with the ROM is absolutely bare bones, no additional features whatsoever. So you can probably use Google Camera Go or you can go ahead and use uh, one of the latest ports of Gcam, which should give you better camera quality. Now, if you further move to settings and go to about phone and click on the Android version, you will see this is Android version 12 official Xeon and the maintainer is Pokorni 7.2 February security patch. It does come with the HyperX kernel, which gave me surprisingly good performance numbers. And we will talk about that towards the end of the video. Now, moving on, let's go ahead and talk about the important factors here. So, you know, network and internet, you don't really have anything special here. Connected devices, you don't really have anything special over here. But if you go to the apps section, you do have game space in which you can see I have added uh, the benchmark applications and games. You do have options like disable heads up, 
इन गेम रिंग मोड कस्टमाइजेशन ब्लॉक फुल स्क्रीन इवेंट डिसेबल ऑटो ब्राइटनेस डिसेबल स्वाइप टू स्क्रीन शॉट एंड स्टे अवे सो ऑल दीज ऑप्शन आर प्रेजेंट आई हैव बिन यूजिंग दैम इन दे वर्क एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन right now you do have something called as dub space which i did cover in detail in yesterday's video for the poco x3 pro but of course why will me 11x users watch a poco x3 pro video so you do have a battery style customization over here a ton of options available you can go ahead and enable the battery percentage left battery text is an option you can go ahead and enable the battery bar with a lot of customization options You can also go ahead and customize the carrier label, clock and date settings, status bar items, traffic indicators can be enabled, miscellaneous customization along with the dub fest logo, colored icons. So all these things are present. They work absolutely fine. You do have a ton of options in notification customization, including vibrate on connect, call waiting, and disconnect. Quick setting customization can be done and pretty elaborate over here as far as the quick setting customization is concerned. If you go to lock screen short shortcuts, you do have a couple of options here. You can customize the lock screen UI, ambient, and always on display can be customized. And moving on, you have customization for Monet engine, pulse customizations, navigation bar, and general settings. So you know, all in all, as far as the customization is concerned, Dove Fest on the B11X looks splendid. It works absolutely fine, no problem whatsoever. If you move on to the battery section. Unfortunately you don't really have the thermal profiles option over here. I really don't see why that is not present because on the Poco X3 Pro that option is present. Probably something to do with the kernel, but if we talk about the battery usage over here, as you can see, let's go to system info. I barely use the screen and the phone has been used very very rarely, but still we've not lost a lot of battery because the standby drain on this particular rom is rock solid even when using the phone actively you get around 5 hours of screen on time which is pretty decent in my opinion the fast charging on this particular rom works absolutely fine no problem whatsoever i didn't experience any overheating while gaming one thing that is missing though is 90 fps gaming that should have been enabled by default on custom roms by now and if they can add that feature it will work really really well because uh, in 60 fps gaming on bgmi on call of duty mobile even genshin impact i've had a pretty decent experience now moving on we have to talk about important factors like drm info so why do i know this present you can enjoy amazon prime hd netflix in hd and stuff like that next up when we go to the google play store you will see that play store certification is present so your banking applications should be working absolutely fine safety net is passing so no problems there now let's quickly go ahead and talk about the performance numbers first of which is the google feed Before that let me show you unlimited Google photo storage as you can see you have unlimited storage here and let's talk about the performance numbers now so the average performance was 240 146 gps this is the highest that i've seen on any rom for this device including 92% throttling so that's splendid performance and if we further go to antutu benchmark this is the record breaking score that i've seen 730 7297 this is the highest i've seen this device score which is really really crazy even if you go to geekbench the consistency is there because the single core score is 994 and the multi core is 3267 so this is the closest a custom rom has come to stock rom as far as geekbench numbers are concerned so what i'm trying to say here is this rom does have a lot of customization voice over wifi wifi calling all these features including internet connectivity and mobile data are working absolutely okay i've not had any problems plus this particular rom has record breaking benchmark numbers and ultimate smoothness all in all dub fest is you know continuously impressing me on multiple devices next we will be reviewing dub fest on the k20 pro before we actually get into the speed test between this and this and this and this and this so three speed test videos will be coming MIUI 13 for this particular device is out in Europe so we will be covering that soon and last before we end this video if you want to support us check the pinned comment our mobile accessories are available on Amazon at a very reasonable price go ahead and buy them and support us until the next one this is Kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye